Take a long time though, but it's worth it. Only the best for my best friend. Uh, Buster. Maybe I'll be a mechanic someday. Buster! Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Scout. I promise my painting will be better. Painting? But we've just come from the car wash. Oh, double oops. That was a surprise too. Come on. Uh, everything okay, mm. Buster? Um, yup. <gasps> oh, no! I've used the wrong colours. I just wanted to make you feel special on your birthday. Now I've messed it all up. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I've had the best day. This is so much fun. It is? Of course. What could be more fun than messing around in the garage <laughs> with my best friend? Woohoo! But we were supposed to have a photo. Not yet. I've got a great idea. Buster, it's time for a makeover. Hmm, not like Buster's to be late. <gasps> Ready, Diggly? Sure. You look super cool. Da, 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 da. Come on, Bumper Bunch, let's move. This way to the Zipsu Racetrack. Watch out for Speedy Scouts. Slow down, Buster. Buster? It's not on my map. It must be brand new. Interesting. It's some kind of colour car wash. Whoa! Check this out! Yes, yes, yes! That's awesome, Scout. We can all be different colours. Let's go, go, go! I don't know, guys. Maybe we should just go back to the racetrack. Relax, Ash. We'll go racing later. This is going to be such a fun adventure. This car wash is the best thing ever. Oh, Buster, Buster. Let's make this go even faster. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Buster, are you sure we should do that? Oh, come on, Ash. Don't be such a slow coach. Uh, Diggly, how do we make it faster? Budge over, Buster. Push this, pull that, punch this, and there! Turbo charge! Hmm, littering. Oops. <laughs> We're gonna be in so much trouble! Ash, you are a genius! Um, a what? 
We can use your hose to clean all this up. Bumper bunch. Let's go! What's all this then? What mischief and flim flammery is going on here? Hey, Mr. Rubble. Uh, how are you? We were just, um, speeding to the racetrack. Nothing interesting here. No paint explosions at all. Uh, that's a nice hat. Is it new? There's something funny going on here. I feel it in my hubcaps. Nobody can trick Mr. Rubble. Nobody. I can sense mischief. Mr. Rubble! No! <laughs> <laughs> it's Buster. Time to wake up. <laughs> it's a bright new day. <laughs> Look, Mommy has made Buster's breakfast already. Jam on toast, Buster's favorite. Ouch! Buster drove over that toy. It's okay, Mommy can kiss it all better. There. Now Buster can go out and play soccer. How exciting! <laughs> Now Buster is playing in the park with Scout. Nice one, Scout. But oh no! The soccer ball has gotten stuck in the tree. But look! Mommy has knocked the ball free again. Well done, Mommy. Now they can keep on playing. What's this? Mommy and Buster are painting a picture. It's so much fun to paint together. Look, the sun has a face. <laughs> but oh dear, Buster is sleepy. It's been such a busy day. Time for Buster to go to bed now. First, Mommy reads Buster a bedtime story. Aw, good night, Buster. It was so much fun spending the day playing with Mommy. She really is the best. <laughs> Buster and Diggly are having so much fun playing with that remote-controlled car. Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Look at it go! Look, there's Mommy! She's coming to tell them lunch is ready. And she's reminding Buster to put his toys away. Buster is putting the controller away, but look, the car is still outside. Now Buster and Diggly are back to carry on playing. But, oh no, they can't see the toy car anywhere. Where could it be? Could it be in the toy box? No. Maybe it's in the dustbin. No. Maybe it's buried under the autumn leaves. It must be here somewhere. Wait, I think Buster has an idea. If they use the control, listen. The car's engine. Where's the noise coming from? Under that pile of leaves? Hooray! They found the toy car. But wait, now the controller is missing. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Well spotted, Buster. Now Diggly and Buster can have fun playing with their remote-controlled car again. But this time, they'll remember to put their toys back in the toy box when they're finished with them. Good job! Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh! 
Grandpa has a remote controlled car. <laughs> Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom. Look at it go. Now Scout wants a go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh oh. Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no! The car crashed and broke! <gasps> now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. <laughs> He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. <laughs> oh, now they've made up. Oh. Friends always <laughs> forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? He's left his toys all over the floor. Oh. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. Oh dear! He's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? <gasps> Mommy slipped on all the water. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly and take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together, like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! It's evening time and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. This is going to be so much fun! First it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy! Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer, but Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now everyone's fast asleep. 
But what's this? Bandit's waking up! Buster, too! They're sneaking back downstairs! Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies! That's very naughty! Oops! That made a loud noise! Mommy's caught them! She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. It's another exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Today, they are making Mother's Day cards. Look, teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster is starting with some glue. Oops! The glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. Oh dear, Buster. The glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha! A spoon! Nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. <gasps> oh no, now Scout is stuck as well. Watch out, Scout. Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on. The water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray! It worked! Oh dear, what a mess! Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look, Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it! Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again! Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy. They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and... Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots and he scores. Oh no, Daddy Bus, are you all right? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh look, it's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. Let's go! Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops. I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster, and Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh look, it's Mommy Bus! Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait, Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball. <laughs> he does need the practice. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano! 
Wow! <laughs> They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow! It looks like an erupting volcano! Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited! They're going to do the experiment all by themselves! What a mess! It looks like Bandit didn't do it right! Oh no! Scouts didn't go right either! Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others! Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board! What a good idea! The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone! Buster, Mommy Bus, and Ash are at the Soft Play Center! How exciting! Looks like Buster wants to play in the big kids section, but he's not quite big enough yet. Wow! This is amazing! Ash is very excited! But Buster thinks he's too old for soft play! They're having so much fun! Look at them go! But Buster doesn't want to join! Now they're bouncing on the trampoline! Whee! That does look like lots of fun, Buster! Nope, he's still not going to play. What is Ash running from? Oh, look, it's Captain Mommy! Arg! Quick, run away, Ash! He's escaped to the ball pit. That looks like so much fun! Now Buster wants to join in. Quick! The captain is going to catch you! Go, Buster! Buster is really getting into this now! Ahoy, me hearties! <gasps> what was that? <laughs> gotcha! It's Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash to the rescue! Run away! <laughs> Look at them go! Watch out, Captain Mommy! Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash have saved the day! See, Buster? The soft play center was lots of fun after all! It's a sunny day at Buster's house! Oh, look! Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg! There! All fixed and bandaged up! Scout is here to drive to school with Buster! They are playing in the playground! Oh dear! Scout hurt her tire! Buster's got an idea! What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll! All fixed! Great work, Buster! Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well! And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. 
Bandit has a cheeky idea. <laughs> They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa, that monster is super scary. Phew, don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Mm. Hang on. What is Buster up to? Oh. He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow. Poor Scout. <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. <laughs> now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That served Buster right. Great job, gang. What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. It's sports day at Buster School. How exciting! First is the 100 meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go! Go Buster! He's the winner! Hooray! That was easy. Buster is the fastest in school. Next up, it's the high jump. Scout's up first. Scoot, scoot! Wow! That was awesome! Buster thinks he can beat that jump. Off he goes. Oops! Don't worry, Buster. He doesn't look very happy. It's the egg and spoon race next. Get ready, and go! Buster really wants to win. Whoops! Buster was going too fast and smashed the egg. Oh dear. And Ash is the winner. Well done, Ash. Buster is annoyed about losing. He really wanted to win. He's so upset that he isn't playing ball with the others. That does look fun, Buster. It's not just about winning, Buster. It's about having fun. Hooray! Now they're all having fun together. It's time to present the medals. Buster is third, Ash is second, 
And Scout is first. Well done, everyone. What a brilliant day. Mary and Ash are on holiday at the beach. Mommy Bus and Mommy Fire Truck are preparing a barbecue. And Buster and Ash are building an amazing sand castle. Whoa, those waves are really coming in. Quick, the sand castle could be ruined. Ash to the rescue. He's protecting the castle with a wall of sand. Great idea, Ash. Oh, look, it's Iggy, the ice cream truck. Hooray! Oh, no! Ash's wall couldn't stop the waves. They've ruined their sand castle. Buster is very sad. But Ash has got a plan to save it. Buster is too upset to help. Maybe an ice cream will cheer him up. I wonder what flavors he'll choose. Wow, that's a huge ice cream. Whoa, steady! Ash is still fixing the sand castle. Buster could get Ash an ice cream too, but he's upset with Ash because his wall didn't protect the sand castle. Buster's only getting ice cream for himself. Whoa! Ash has rebuilt the sand castle. Good as new! Buster now feels bad he didn't get Ash an ice cream, so he's giving Ash his. Be careful, don't drop it. Iggy gives them another cone. Now they can share the ice cream. Yum, yum, delicious. Buster is at Daddy's house today. Oh look, it's Daddy Bus. Tomorrow, Buster is going back to school. <laughs> it's going to be great! But first, they need to get ready! Daddy Bus has a checklist of everything Buster needs before he goes back to school tomorrow. <laughs> he needs his rucksack, a lunchbox, his school book, a pencil case, and a ruler. Hmm. Rucksack? Check. Lunchbox? Check. Everything else? Check. And last but not least, the shark tooth from his holiday for show and tell. Wow! Buster needs to get a good night's sleep before school tomorrow. Good night, Buster. There goes the alarm. It must be time to get up. Oh no, Buster has gone back to sleep. Oh dear. And now he's going to be late for school. Quick, they've got to get everything ready. What does Buster need? Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Pencil case and school book, check. But what is he missing? The ruler. Aha, there it is. It's time to head off for school. Wait a second, Buster forgot his shark tooth. <gasps> quick Buster, quick. Shark tooth, check. They're going to have to race to get there on time. Go, Buster! Looks like the teacher is getting worried. All his friends are already at school and he's going to be late. Oh no! Phew, he did it, just in time. What a crazy morning. 
Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout. What's Buster spotted? Oh, look, it's Diggly and Daisy. Buster wants to help. But safety first. Look at that awesome builder's hat. Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys. Now they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble. Oh, no. The crate is sinking into the mud. Go, Buster, go. Oh, no. Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well. Daisy to the rescue. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane. And he's pulling Buster out. It's working. Just a little bit more. Oops. Now they're all stuck. And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed. But Buster's got a plan. He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate so they can pull themselves out. Brilliant idea, Buster. Diggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together. That's it! Hooray! It worked! Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. So they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. Well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. <laughs> now it's time for a spot of lunch. Yum, yum. But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud. Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. They know just what to do. His friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck. Hooray! She's here to show them what a fire truck does. When a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. What happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire. Yippee! It's time to practice. They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first. Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout? Oops! That's better. Well done! <laughs> now it's Buster's turn. Wow! Watch out, Buster! That was a great day. But now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work. Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck. Thank you! Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home. Bye, Scout. Bye, Ash. <gasps> what is that? It's smoke. Where could it be coming from? <gasps> oh no, it's a fire! What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter. Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help. <gasps> T 
teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! <gasps> there's the fire. Aha! And there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no! Quick! Phew! The fire is out! Yippee! What great teamwork! It's the next day at school. Teacher is calling Buster up to the front. What could it be for? Look! Mommy fire truck! She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat. Go, Buster! Baby Bus and Buster are driving across the hills. Oh, look! It's a baby deer! What's it running from? It's Traxon in the train! Oh, no! What's wrong? Traxon can't stop! Quick! Buster and Daddy Bus to the rescue. Oh no, he's speeding up. Daddy Bus is calling Otis the police car. This is an emergency. Ah, there's a branch on the tracks. Daddy Bus swoops in and moves it. Hooray! Well done, Daddy Bus. Looks like the tracks change directions up ahead. Daddy Bus and Buster are pulling the levers to change the direction of the tracks. But oh no! Terry is crossing the tracks! Change them quick! That was close! Now Traxon is going round and round. He's getting dizzy! Oh no, watch out! Phew! Daddy was just in time! Looks like Buster has a plan! They need to direct Traxon towards the hill! The hill is slowing him down! He stopped! Hooray! Go, Buster! <laughs> Otis has arrived on the scene. This doesn't look like an emergency. Oops. It's a sunny day in the school playground. And Buster and Scout are drawing together. Uh-oh. Looks like they both want the blue crayon. Buster snatches it. And now Scout is trying to snatch it back. It's given Buster and Bandit a great idea for a game they can all play together. Using their imaginations. It's cops and robbers. Buster and Bandit are the robbers. And Ash and Scout are the cops trying to catch them. Off they go. The chase is on. Buster and Bandit are splitting up. Oh no! Bandit is cornered! Aha! He's got a plan! Where has he gone? Hang on a second! That fox is moving! Quick, Ash! You can catch him! He's jumping off that ramp! Go, Buster! I wonder if Buster and Bandit are going to escape. They're all getting very close. Whoa, watch out! Buster and Bandit have driven straight into jail. Hooray for the cops, Scout, and Ash. Time to give up the crayon, Buster. That was fantastic. What a brilliant game. Now Scout can finally finish off her drawing. Buster and Bandit are free to go. 
What a fantastic playtime, everyone! Look! It's Bandit! He's coming over to visit Buster today! Bandit is so excited! I wonder why! Wow! What a cool dinosaur, Buster! And Bandit has one, too! They're off to play at the park! <laughs> They're having so much fun playing with their dinosaur toys. <laughs> but wait, what's that? Could it be a dinosaur? <gasps> Buster and Bandit are using their imaginations to pretend they're on a dinosaur adventure. What was that? It's a T-Rex! Run! Go, go, go! <gasps> How will they get across? Quick, the dinosaur is coming! <gasps> Aha! Buster has his cowboy lasso! Go, Buster! But Bandit is a bit nervous. Come on, Bandit. You can do it. Bandit is facing his fears. Woo! Good job, Bandit! There's no way the T-Rex can reach them over here. Uh-oh. Or maybe it can! Look, they can hide behind that tree. Quick, Bandit! Wait a second. An egg? Oh, the T-Rex wasn't chasing them after all. It was looking for its egg. Oh, no. It's heading towards that cliff. Quick, Buster. Phew! <laughs> the egg is safe now. The dinosaur is so grateful to Buster. <laughs> what a fun game. And it wasn't really a dinosaur. It was just Diggly, and he was looking for his ball. <laughs> Everyone loves playing dinosaurs. Roar! Roar! What a fantastic day playing at the park. It's time for the annual nature race, which Daddy Bus has organized. This is going to be so much fun! Ash and Buster are going to work together. They need to race through the woods as fast as they can. And the first one back gets the shiny trophy. Get set, go, go, go! Bandit has overtaken Buster and Ash. He really wants to win. What is he up to? <gasps> He's changed the sign! So Buster and Ash are going the wrong way! Oh no! <laughs> huh? There's no more path! This can't be right! And what's that? A huge tire print! Ash thinks it must be a monster! <laughs> nope, don't worry, Ash. Monsters aren't real. Uh-oh, I think they're lost. But they need to keep going. They're slowing down. Oh, dear. They're stuck in the mud. What are they going to do? <gasps> what is that? It sounds like a monster! Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! <laughs> Don't worry! It's just a monster truck! And they're very friendly! She's pulling Ash out of the mud! Wow, she's strong! And now it's Buster's turn! This monster truck is called Mira! She's lost too! 
just like them. Buster says they can work as a team. There's Naughty Bandit. He's almost at the finish line. But look! Buster and his friends are ahead. They ended up taking a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Mira won the race! But she couldn't have done it without her new friends! And she's won the trophy! Yippee! But Mira feels sad for Bandit being on his own! She knows what that feels like! Bandit feels bad for cheating in the big race! Don't worry, Bandit. There's no need to cheat when you have friends by your side. And it's always fun to make new friends. It's Halloween. Ash and Scout are at Buster's house, ready to go trick-or-treating. Whoa! That zombie costume looks amazing! Bandit is not impressed. Boo! Nope. Bandit doesn't want to join in. He thinks dressing up is for babies. Buster, Scout, and Ash head off on their trick-or-treating adventure. Hang on. Bandit would really like some Halloween sweets. Looks like he's got an idea. <gasps> Bandit has copied Buster's costume. They look exactly the same. He's arrived at Terry's farm, looking like Buster. Mm. <laughs> Trick or treat? Mm. <sighs> wow, look at all those sweeties. Oh look, Buster, Ash, and Scout have arrived. Some sweeties for Scout? Some sweeties for Ash? Hang on. Nope. Terry thinks he's already given Buster lots of sweets. But it was actually Naughty Bandit. Poor Buster. Ash and Scout like how they look in their reflections. What is that? A sweet wrapper? And another? It's Bandit eating all the sweets! Buster has a plan. Ash and Scout are pretending to think that Bandit is Buster. Bandit is looking at himself in the reflection. Wait a second, now there are two Bandits! Bandit is a bit confused and a bit scared. Where have the others gone? Boo! Buster's plan worked. Bandit has been caught in the act. And here's Terry with more sweets. He's confused by the two zombies. He's given them to Bandit again. But Bandit is sharing it with Buster. <laughs> what a funny mix-up. Happy Halloween! Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster! Great work! Whoa! It's a soccer bus! He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But, oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him, and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but, oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. 
He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. <laughs> now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball, and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Buster, Bandit, and Scout are having a sleepover. But they're still wide awake. They're having a great time staying up. They're too excited to go to sleep. <gasps> Who's that? It's Grandpa Bus. He says it's getting late. It's time to go to bed. They can't play games and be up all night. Hmm, maybe this nightlight will help them get to sleep. Wow, look at those stars. Buster loves stars. He wonders what it would be like to be a space rocket flying fast through them. Oh look, it's space rocket Buster. Buster and his friends are using their imagination. They're flying through space. <laughs> Check it out. There's Earth. They're going to race to it. Ready, steady, go. Buster is in the lead. Oh no, Bandit knocked him off course. Aw, oh, now Buster's far behind. How can he zoom back ahead? Aha. Whoa! Buster is spinning around Saturn! Now he's going really fast! What a clever idea! He's overtaking Bandit and Scout! Hmm, what's Bandit up to now? Careful! Meteors! Bandit is throwing them at Buster and Scout. Hmm, they have to stop him. They're throwing an even bigger meteor back at Bandit. That'll teach him. And the race is back on. Buster and Scout are neck and neck. Nearly there. Space Rocket Buster wins the race! Way to go! Uh-oh! Busted! Again! Grandpa heard them playing. That was a lot of fun. But now it really is time to go to bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is reading a book about wildlife. There are so many amazing animals. Bah! What was that? Buster's taking photos with his new camera. <laughs> what a silly picture, Daddy. <gasps> it's given Daddy an idea. Daddy Bus and Buster are on a wildlife scavenger hunt to find this red and blue butterfly. Wow! Buster is determined to find it. There it is! Buster, behind you! Oh no, they didn't see it! Maybe the butterfly is hiding in that long grass? Let's check it out!
Oh, look! Buster has spotted something! <laughs> Snap! Wait a second! It wasn't the red butterfly! It was Ash the fire truck with his mommy! Buster takes a photo for them! What a nice thing to do, Buster! Buster, look up! Quick! There's the butterfly! Oh no! He missed it again! Aha! Buster knows where they should look next! Maybe the butterfly will be by the lake! Hmm. <gasps> there it is! There's the butterfly! Steady, Buster! Don't scare it away! Oh, no! Don't worry, Buster. You just have to be patient. What's that? It's red and blue. Oh, no, not again. It was just teacher's red bow tie. It's a great photo, though, Buster. Mm. Poor Buster. He's upset he hasn't found the butterfly yet. It's okay, Buster. You just need to be patient. <gasps> there it is! Buster, look up! Buster, look up! <laughs> That's it. Take a deep breath and be patient. He's getting some amazing photos of all the wildlife. <gasps> There's the butterfly! <gasps> Quick! Go, Buster! <laughs> oh. He finally managed to get the photo, and it was definitely worth the wait. Daddy Bus and Buster are visiting the river today. What are they going to get up to? Oh, boats! How exciting! Buster wants to ride the boat. But wait, not yet. First, Daddy Bus wants to teach Buster how to tie a strong knot so the boat doesn't float away. Daddy Bus has tied a great knot. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, nearly there. That's okay, Buster. Tying strong knots is really hard. Daddy Bus is going to show Buster how to do it again. But Buster isn't very interested in tying knots. Hmm, the boat is right there. And Daddy is concentrating very hard on his knot. Buster's off! <laughs> this is much more fun! Oh no! The boat wasn't tied to the dock! The river is carrying Buster away! Buster's trying to paddle back, but he can't seem to steer! Daddy Bus to the rescue! Uh-oh! That boat has a leak! He needs to find another way! Buster is floating even further down the river. Careful, Daddy Bus. What's Buster going to do? Oh, there's a bridge. Buster is grabbing on. Phew. Oh no, the pole broke off. Daddy Bus just missed him. Look out! Uh-oh, Buster has spotted rocks ahead. But he can use the wooden pole to steer away from them. It's working! Good thinking, Buster. Oh no, the pole snapped! And look, a waterfall ahead! What's Daddy pointing to? A rope! Perfect! The waterfall isn't far away now. You can do it. Go, Buster! Nice throw. Daddy Bus is pulling Buster back to the shore. Nearly there. Just a bit further. Phew! Back on dry land. Now Buster and Daddy are fishing instead. That's much more relaxing. 
<sighs> Mommy Bus and Ashley are having a relaxing day in. While Buster and Ash play tag. Oops, watch out, Buster. Hmm, maybe Buster and Ash should play outside instead. Wow, look at all that snow. What should they play? Oh, Buster knows a good game. How about cops and robbers? Ash can be the cop, and Buster can be the robber. Grandpa Bus is struggling to turn that hose on. Can Ash catch Buster? Oops, nearly. Oh, watch out, Grandpa. The hose is spraying water all over the shed. It's a bit hard to control. Oh, look. Buster has spotted the shed as a good hiding place. Off he goes, with Ash not far behind. Ash got him. Well done. Oh, no. The water on the shed is freezing into icicles. They're trapped. Buster and Ash are honking their horns for help, but no one can hear them. What else can they try? Oh, Buster has a new idea. Buster is trying to push Ash through the window, but he doesn't quite fit. Oh, there's Grandpa Bus. Quick, try to get his attention. He's seen them. But, oh dear, Grandpa Bus thinks they're just playing a game. What can they do now? Oh, a fishing rod. Buster has an idea. Grandpa Bus is really looking forward to eating his sandwich. But, oh no, it's snatched away. Buster is using the fishing rod to hook the sandwich and get Mommy Bus's attention. Go, Buster! It worked! Mommy Bus has spotted them. Hmm. Mommy Bus to the rescue. What's she got there? Ah, Mommy Bus is using a hairdryer to melt the icicles. What a good idea. <laughs> but they're melting very slowly. Hmm, this could take a while. She's determined it will work. Nearly there. <laughs> Buster and Ash are free at last. Thanks, Mommy. And everything is back to normal. Buster, Bandit, and Mira are outside playing with their soccer ball. Daddy Bus is fishing. <sighs> he hasn't caught any fish yet. Buster has some great skills. Whoa, and so does Mira. That's a big kick, Bandit. Watch out, Mira. Oh no, the ball knocked Mira's hat off. Where did it go? It's not over here. It's definitely not over there. Mira is upset that her favorite hat is missing. Don't worry, Mira. We'll help you find it. Buster has an idea. We can look for the hat using our imagination. Now we can turn the search into a fun game. Off they go. It's time to look for that hat. Whoa, those are very big footprints. They decide to follow them and see where they go. Stop! What's that up ahead? <gasps> it's a dinosaur! And he's wearing Mira's hat! Uh-oh! Run! They're going as fast as they can, but the dinosaur isn't far behind. And Buster spots a big volcano up ahead. They've got to get over that puddle. Buster and Mira make it, but oh no! Bandit gets stuck! Buster is trying to help Bandit get out. <gasps> Uh-oh! The dinosaur caught up with them! He looks very scary! But what's the dinosaur doing? He's seen his reflection! And I think he likes the hat. 
But that's Mira's hat, and she wants it back. Looks like she has an idea. <laughs> wow! Nice shot, Mira! The ball knocked the hat right off! Oh no! But looks like the hat is flying straight towards the volcano! How are they going to get it back now? Buster can do it, using his imagination. It's Super Buster! Off he flies to save the hat! It's getting closer and closer to the volcano. He needs to be quick. Go, Buster! He got it! Thanks, Buster. You're a great friend. They played a fun game, and Mira got her favorite hat back. Everything is more fun when you use your imagination. Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa. And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake. Grandpa has an idea. They should bake the cake together. Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients. Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar. Boop! Who's that? It's Mira! Along with Terry. Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira! Uh-oh! Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa! They both want the same bag! Oops! Mira and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first! Off he goes, Mira! Whoops! Mira, you spooked the teacher! <laughs> she grabbed some milk, too. Slow down, you guys! Whoa! It's Grandpa and Terry. Both of them move very slowly. You sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look! There are the eggs! Oh, no! Buster dropped the eggs! And... Mira spotted the last bag of icing sugar. Mira sprints off to get it. But, oh, no! Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf. Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. Buster offers her the icing sugar. And she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. Buster and Mommy Bus are visiting Terry's farm today. Wow, the farm is so cool. Buster is so excited. Oh, look, an adorable litter of puppies. How cute. Buster has spotted a soccer ball. He loves soccer. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to check that all the puppies are healthy. But Buster has other ideas. He wants to go and play some soccer on the farm. <laughs> what was that? One of the puppies followed Buster outside. Mm. 
Looks like she wants to play. Mm. Hmm. But Buster wants to play by himself. <laughs> there she is again. The puppy won't stop following him. Buster is throwing the puppy a stick to distract her. That will make her leave. Nope, that didn't work. And now the puppy has taken the soccer ball. What a cheeky little puppy. Aha! Finally Buster got his ball back. But the puppy still wants to play. Stay there, puppy. Buster is hiding behind a stack of hay bales. <gasps> Not again! Maybe Buster can lose the puppy in the cornfield. The puppy is sad she can't find him. But Buster's plan worked. Oh no! How did that puppy get up there? She's going to fall! <gasps> And Mommy Bus and Terry haven't noticed. <laughs> quick, Buster, quick! Go, Buster! <gasps> Phew! He saved the puppy! That was a close one! Oh. Mommy Bus has noticed a puppy is missing. But don't worry, Buster has brought her home. <laughs> what a fun day at the farm! <laughs> Uh-oh, not again! Buster is packing his bag for Ash's birthday picnic. He will need a picnic blanket, something to drink. What else does Buster need? Marshmallows to toast on the fire! Thanks, Daddy Bus! Don't forget Ash's present! Oh. <laughs> Buster is so excited to celebrate Ash's birthday! What's wrong, Buster? He looks a bit unwell. He really doesn't want to miss the party. Buster and Daddy have arrived! <laughs> Time to play some party games together. Hmm, Buster really doesn't look well. But he doesn't want to miss out on the fun. They're playing hide and seek. Oh no, Buster is feeling really poorly. Maybe sitting by the fire will make him feel better? His friends are worried about him and want to make sure he's okay. Maybe some marshmallows will make him feel better. He can't even eat toasted marshmallows. Daddy Bus is taking Buster home to rest. But he can't forget Ash's birthday present. What is it? It's a painting set! That's very thoughtful, Buster. It's given Ash an idea! He's passing a paintbrush to Bandit and Scout! I wonder what they're going to paint! Buster is resting at home. He isn't his usual happy self. He needs to take his medicine and get some sleep to feel better. Well done, Buster! The next day, Buster is feeling a bit better now. But he's still sad he missed Ash's birthday. Daddy Bus has got Buster some warm soup. And what's that? His friends made a painting for him. And they're outside! Hooray! 
Buster is so happy to see his friends. And the painting has made him feel much better. It's Halloween, and Buster is having a party. He's looking for a cool costume to make himself super scary. What has he found? Whoa! Buster is dressed up as a cowboy! Awesome! Time to put this costume to the test. Boo! Buster tries to scare Mommy. Did it work? Hmm, maybe the cowboy costume isn't scary enough. He needs to find something scarier. Aha! He's got it! Arr! He's a pirate! This is going to be much scarier. Oops! Be careful, Buster! There's Grandpa Bus! Scare him, Buster! Arr! Oh dear! Buster's still not scary enough! But looks like he's got an idea. Hang on a second. Where has Grandpa's laundry gone? It's time for snacks. <gasps> what was that? There's a noise coming from that shed. But what is making that noise? It's a bit spooky. Wait a second, I recognize that giggle. It was Buster all along! That was definitely a scary costume. Sounds like people have arrived for the party. And Mommy has a plan. Ash and Scout have arrived. They're so excited! Hmm, there's nobody there. Whoa. Huh? They're a little oh. bit scared. <gasps> what is that? Mm. Boo! <gasps> ah, run away! <laughs> Don't worry, Ash and Scout. It was just Buster. <laughs> what a great prank and a very scary <laughs> costume. It's Halloween, and Buster is at Daddy's house. Oh, but Halloween can be scary. Daddy Bus has an idea. He's going to tell a Halloween story. Daddy's going to tell a story of the brave wizard's adventure to find the magic gems and save Halloween. Buster the brave wizard went on an adventure. He had to find all the magic gems. There must be gems in that castle. They're guarded by a monster. This wizard must be very brave, Dad. The wizard was the bravest of all, Buster. The hero presses on through the dark woods towards the castle. Something stirs in the darkness up ahead in the forest. What is it, Dad? A werewolf? A ghost? A were-ghost! The mysterious shadow grows larger. Is it the monster? He found a jewel! Well done! <laughs> Finally, the wizard reached the mysterious castle. There must be more gems inside, huh? but how to get there? Oh. Hmm. He needs to lower the drawbridge, but how? The wizard could use his magic! Ha! <laughs> Good idea! The brave adventurer pushed forward inside the castle walls. Hmm? <laughs> 
onward into the castle. How brave the wizard is. What will our hero do? Run or continue? Continue, continue! Ooh. The wizard has to find the treasure and save Halloween! <laughs> but what's that behind them? It's the monster! If the wizard wants to get those magic jewels, he'll need to get past it. Wait, Daddy. The monster must be really lonely. Oh, I suppose so, yes. The monster is lonely. Maybe the wizard should help the monster. He needs a friend. And so the brave wizard rolled up and used his magic to make the castle all warm and bright. <laughs> the monster is you, Dad. <laughs> the monster was so grateful he gave the wizard all the magic jewels. So brave Buster <laughs> saved Halloween for everyone. Buster is heading off to school. Wait a second, Buster. Don't forget, it's school photo day today. So you need an extra polish. <laughs> Bye, Mommy Bus. Look! Terry Tractor is here to take the school photos. Bandit and Ash are up first. Smile! Buster's turn next. And he wants to get an action shot. Whoops! Buster slipped! Watch out, Scout! Oh no, what's wrong? The teacher is handing Buster a mirror. <gasps> Buster has knocked out his wobbly front tooth. Oh no! And now Buster is too embarrassed to have his photo taken. It's okay, Buster. You can have it taken another day. Buster is feeling really sad about missing out on the photos. But Mommy Bus is here to pick him up. And she's taking him to the dentist to get his tooth looked at. Hooray! <laughs> Oh. Buster is a little bit nervous. Don't worry, Buster. Amber the ambulance is here to take a look at that tooth for you. It's time to sit in the special dentist chair. Wow, that looks like so much fun! And now it's time to check that tooth. Don't worry, Buster. There's nothing to be scared of. First, Amber is looking at the tooth with a little mirror. Open wide, Buster. Say, ah. Uh. And what's that? Amber's going to play Buster a video. It's another bus. Just like Buster. <laughs> and his tooth has fallen out. But don't worry, another one will grow in its place. He might be missing a tooth for now, but soon he'll have a brand new one. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Buster now feels much better. Thanks, Amber. <laughs> And now he's going back to school to get his photo taken. <laughs> Gather in, Buster. Say cheese. Today, Buster and his family are having a picnic. Buster is so excited. Mommy Bus is off to get Grandpa. And while she's gone, Buster and Bandit need to prepare the picnic. First, they have to lay down the picnic blanket. Whoa, the wind has blown it away. It looks like a cape. It's Super Buster. Bandit wants a cape too. And it's a tug of war. Buster is imagining that he is a superhero. Super Buster flying through the sky. <gasps> it's bad guy Bandit! Mwahaha! <laughs> He's stolen the picnic! Oh no! Super Buster has got to save it! They are chasing through the sky! Go, Super Buster, go! You can catch him! Oh 
Oh no! Bad Guy Bandit is aiming at Super Buster with his laser shapes. But Super Buster is too fast. Wow, look at him go! <gasps> Hooray! Super Buster has saved the picnic. But what is that? It's a giant blue laser ball. Oh no! What is Super Buster going to do? Aha! He's using the flagpole as a bat. Bring it on, bad guy bandit. Great shot, Super Buster. Whack. <laughs> wow, that was such a fun game. But oh no, they've made a huge mess. And Mommy Bus and Grandpa are on their way. What are they going to do? Quick, they've got to clear it up. As superheroes, of course. Super Buster and Bad Guy Bandit are clearing up the city. Even superheroes need to clean up after themselves. Just in time. Great teamwork, guys. <laughs> yum, yum. Delicious. And all that superhero work has left them very hungry. Buster and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. But first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive. But I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast. Scoot, scoot. Wow, Scout told such a cool story. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> But then, I came face to face with a dinosaur. <gasps> but he had a sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Wait a second, that's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear, Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, could he? Oh. All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. Mm. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> This summer, I was at the beach, but then I saw... Mm. No. Yes! Oh. Pirates are even cooler than sharks! <laughs> Yarm, <Yeah>, hearties! <laughs> hmm. Okay. Ah. The pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth mm. out with a little help from... <laughs> a friendly little bee! <laughs> We took out the sore tooth and then they played catch with it. Gotcha! <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination, especially with friends. Look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting! Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. 
Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster, yellow, of course. Let's paint. Oops. Ash adds a red splat to match Scout's. And Buster adds a yellow splat. Awesome! I wonder what Scout is painting first. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Buster's go next. What's he going to paint? A bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash. Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful, that paint is very messy. Oh dear, they're getting paint everywhere. What a mess. Uh-oh, the yellow paint is all over the floor. And now the purple. Yikes. Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun. Uh-oh, they didn't realize they were making such a mess. But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh no! Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet! Time to get all cleaned up! Ash is hosing Buster down. Splash! Now it's Scout's turn. And that looks like so much fun! And finally, Ash. Well done, everyone. Wow, the room looks completely clean. Time for Ash and Scout to head off home. Oops, well, not completely clean. Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach. What a fun day out. Wow, the sea looks amazing. What is that in the water? Ah! It's a shark! Buster is very scared! Oops! Watch out, Iggy! Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Buster is trying to tell her what he saw. It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark! Mommy Bus can't see anything. Don't worry, Buster. Everything is fine. And Mommy Bus is going back to her nap. Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. Ah! It's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Oops! Not again! Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the shark. Wait a second, what's wrong? The shark has a sore, wobbly tooth. That's why it was jumping out of the water. Don't worry, shark. Buster can help. He's trying to get Mommy's attention. She's awake. She's got her red kit and Mommy Bus to the rescue. Splat! <laughs> yum, yum. Mommy Bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth. It's out. Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. Well done, Buster! He can't wait to show the tooth to us a sunny day. And Daddy Bus is taking Buster on a trip to the beach. 
Buster says goodbye to Mommy Bus, and off they go. Hooray! But oh dear, Otis is blocking their path. The road is closed. Buster is very upset. But looks like Daddy has an idea. It's a lovely lake. And they can go fishing instead. Buster is disappointed, though, as he wanted to go to the beach. Daddy teaches him how to fish. Wow! Now it's Buster's turn. Buster is bored. This isn't as fun as the beach. Why is Daddy so excited? Hang on, something is tugging on Daddy's line. What could it be? Whoa, Daddy has caught a huge fish. It's so big, Daddy isn't strong enough. Buster joins in and helps. Watch out, Buster. Oops, they've been pulled into the water. And the fish is finding this very funny. Buster and Daddy Bus won't give up that easily. Looks like they've got a new plan. The fish is swimming in the lake. Daddy casts his fishing line. And the fish pulls once again. It's another tug of war. Look, there's Buster floating in the lake. Aha, gotcha. Buster caught the fish with his net. <laughs> Go, Buster. Daddy is very proud. Well done, Buster. The fish swims away. See you next time, fishy. Fishing was lots of fun after all. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. And Buster and Grandpa are having a great time playing together. Mommy Bus is off to work. Will Buster and Grandpa be able to make dinner together? Whoa, some real cooking. Buster is very excited. Let's cook. Grandpa sets up the stove. Hmm, but what comes next? Buster has an idea. It's chocolate sauce. Hmm, Grandpa doesn't think that's quite right for dinner. Let's take a look at the recipe. They've gathered all the ingredients together. Buster starts by adding some flour to the bowl. Whoa, easy there, Buster. Oops, the flour has gone everywhere. Now Grandpa and Buster are covered in flour. Buster is adding the finishing touches to the mixture. Careful the mixture doesn't go everywhere. Great job, Buster. Oops, Grandpa's tomato sauce has splattered all over the floor. And what's going on at the stove? The pot is bubbling over. Oh, look, it steamed up his glasses and now he can't see where he's going. Watch out, Grandpa. Oh dear, this isn't going very well. Grandpa and Buster are clearing up the mess. But Mommy Bus is coming home from work. Uh-oh, they still haven't made dinner. What are they going to do? Grandpa gets some fish fingers out of the freezer. Aha, this gives Buster an idea. Time for chocolate sauce. Mommy Bus is wondering what Buster and Grandpa have made for dinner, just as they're finishing up. I wonder what they've cooked. It's fish fingers and green beans. And chocolate sauce. Are you sure about this, Buster? He gives it a try. Hmm, delicious. Mommy also gives it a try. And it's surprisingly tasty. Well done, Windy day at the park. Buster and Daddy Bus are here for a fun day out. Daddy Bus has a surprise for Buster. What could it be? Oh, look, it's a kite. Buster gets ready to fly it. Daddy Bus pushes it up into the air. Wow, it's flying so high. Well done, Buster. Look, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. Oh, no, a big gust of wind has blown the kite away. It's caught on Monty, and he hasn't noticed. Don't worry, Buster. Daddy has a plan. Oops! Watch out, Daddy Bus! Whoa! Great header! Go, Buster! 
Bandit and Ash look very Aww. confused. Where are they going? Buster is trying to get Monty's attention. But he's not looking where he's going. Watch out! Oh no! Buster has driven straight into a muddy puddle. He's stuck in the mud. Daddy heaves him out. Great teamwork, guys. Uh-oh, a tree has fallen across the road. But that won't stop them. Daddy Bus flies right over the log. And Buster slides straight underneath. Wow, that was awesome. Quick, there's Monty. Looks like Daddy Bus has an idea. There's a huge pile of mud and they're splashing through it. What are they doing? They've drawn a picture of their kite in the mud and Monty has finally noticed a kite wrapped around him. Oops! Buster gets his kite back. Thank you, Monty. Hold tight, Buster. Phew! That was a closer. He's having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drums. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along. And all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. That sounds even better than before. At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy. What a kind thing Buster did. Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants. But Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner. But he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm. Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look! He's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow! He's getting it! Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. 
Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow, Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready and go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash! Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look, there's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh dear, Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay, they'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look, he's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. She'll know what to do. But wait. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone get some yummy Easter eggs. Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close! Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh! <laughs> Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea! Bandit is going first. Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn. He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! Oops, Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash! And there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. They're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! And Ash gets to go first. Five and two, that's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight, along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh, wow, he's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster, five. 
Oh dear! Down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. Oops! He knocked over his counter. What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with, but he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. <gasps> oh no! He moved his counter up. But that's cheating. Oh no! He's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game. Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. Ah. That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... <laughs> there, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. The end of school. And it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. Now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one. Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm. Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. They're Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear. I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash 
Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. There's Buster and Scout driving home. Wait, what was that? Oh, wow. It's a little baby reindeer. She must be lost. Buster is trying to cheer her up. Aw, I think she wants to play. <laughs> She's a jumpy little girl. Now Buster's throwing a snowball. Oops, <laughs> sorry, Scout. It's fun to play with new friends. Now Buster has built a snow ramp. I wonder what he's up to. Vroom! Buster's doing a big jump. Now it's the baby reindeer's turn. Whoosh! <laughs> now Scout! Oh. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Buster. <gasps> but where's the baby reindeer gone? They're following the footprints. There! <laughs> she was playing hide and seek! <gasps> where's Scout going? A big pile of snow. Oh, look! It's Scout! Whoa! More reindeer footprints. Bigger ones. I wonder where they lead. I think the friends are going to follow them. The tracks are winding all through the trees. Look! It's Mommy and Daddy reindeer! They're so happy they found Baby. Baby Reindeer has had so much fun playing with Buster and Scout. But now it's time to say goodbye. Bye, Baby Reindeer. See you again soon. It's a cold winter's night. What's Buster up to? Oh, wow! A drawing of some fireworks. Buster's so excited because tonight he's going to a real fireworks display. But wait, he's forgotten something. A nice warm hat. There, now it's time to go and watch the fireworks. Oh, what's that? Fireworks make loud noises. Oh dear. They frightened Buster. He doesn't like loud noises. Aw, poor Buster. He's shaking. What's Mommy doing? Oh, Buster's toy car makes loud noises. But that's not scary. What's that loud noise? It's Grandpa with a soccer whistle. Buster loves soccer. He doesn't Whoa. mind that loud noise either. <laughs> What's that loud noise? Huh? Oh, it's popcorn popping. Buster <laughs> loves popcorn. He doesn't mind that noise. Wow, the fireworks are so pretty. <sighs> Maybe loud noises aren't so bad after all. Buster's going to give it another try. Whoa! Look at those colorful fireworks! It's a brand new day, and it's time for Buster to head off to school. There's Diggly. They can go to school together. They're going to race to school. Whoosh! I wonder who will be fastest. Whoa! There's a little duckling in the road. He should be more careful. There's a mommy duck. She's trying to cross the road with her ducklings. But look out! Here comes Terry. Here comes the teacher, too. Oh, no. 
Phew! Thanks to Diggly and Buster, the duck family can cross the road safely. Aw, they're going to swim in that pond. Uh-oh, that duckling is walking back to the road. <laughs> Good job, Buster. Now the ducks are going back over the road. Buster and Diggly are helping them cross safely. <laughs> Mommy Duck is crossing, too. Well done, everyone, for helping! <laughs> but Terry and the teacher want to get moving or they'll be late. Wait a minute. I think Buster has an idea. Hmm. What are they doing with those paints? White lines? And some signs? It's a duck crossing! Now the duck family can cross the road safely whenever they like! There's the teacher again. He's telling them to hurry up. The kids had better get to school or they'll be late. Nice work, everyone! <laughs> There's Buster and Scout! They're having great fun playing in all the muddy puddles. But, oh no! Poor Scout is feeling a bit sick. Aw, it's okay. They can play together again tomorrow. Now Buster is heading inside and grabbing a snack. But, oh dear, he's not washed his muddy wheels before eating that apple. That's not very clean. And he's left muddy wheel prints everywhere. The next morning, Mommy comes to wake up Buster. But, oh no! Buster doesn't look well at all. Poor Buster. Whoa, he's got a temperature. He'll have to stay home today to get better. Now it's time for some medicine. Buster doesn't like the look of it, but Mommy knows it'll help him get better. There, that wasn't so bad. Now Buster just has to get some rest. The next morning, Buster is feeling much better. <laughs> Scout's feeling better, too. They can go outside and play again. But wait! Mommy says they should wash their hands first so they won't get ill again. Good job, everyone! Wait! Mommy has another idea. They can wear these face masks, too, so they don't get sick. There! Now Buster and Scout are ready to play outside safely. They're so happy now that they're feeling better again. It's a bright new morning, and Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting. Oh no! Buster accidentally ran over the present! It's flat as a pancake! Poor Buster! It was just an accident! But wait! I think Buster has an idea! Look! Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box! And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets! There's the wooden stick, too. <laughs> and the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. <laughs> but what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> Diggly's opening his present, and... 
Whoa! It's a pinata! It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes! One more smack! Look at all those sweets! An amazing birthday Look. present! Buster has arrived early for school today. There's Scout and Diggly. Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout slipped too. Phew! Oh no, the clock is broken too. What a mess. And here comes the teacher. They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. They can swap jobs. Scout can collect up all the letters. Then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time, here comes the teacher. Well? Everything looks normal. <laughs> Apart from that letter. <laughs> and the time isn't right. <laughs> and the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. It's Buster the bus. But whoa, he sure looks sleepy. He's driving off the road. Oh no! Buster's ended up in the muddy puddle. And now he's stuck. Poor Buster. How will he get out? The next morning, Scout visits Buster's garage. But, oh dear, Buster is nowhere to be found. Where is he? But look, muddy tracks. Scout is following them to see where Buster is. There's Diggly the Digger. Scout tells him Buster's missing. They need to find him. Scout and Diggly search together. Look, a trail of sweets. Where could it lead? Whoa, what was that? Aw, phew, it's just Robin. Scout explains that Buster is missing, and Robin agrees to help search too. They'll have a better chance of finding him if they work together. Poor Buster is lonely and cold. Scout looks behind the trees. Diggly looks beside the rocks. What's Robin seen? Some more tire tracks. Look, there's Buster. He's stuck in the mud. He's been here so long. Robin goes to tell Diggly and Scout that he's found Whoa. Buster. He's just over the hill. There's poor Buster. <laughs> Diggly and Scout can help. Working together, Diggly and Scout pull Buster out of the muddy puddle. Huh? Now Buster is free at last. He's very grateful to his friends for rescuing him. Now he's back, safe and sound in his garage. What a bright, sunny day it is. Oh, look, it's Diggly and CJ. They're filling up CJ's mixer with water. What are they both up to? Look, there's Buster and Scout. Phew, what a hot day. I wonder what they can do to cool down. Whoa, Diggly and CJ are making colorful water balloons. Looks like Buster and Scout have got an idea. A water balloon fight. Ready, set, off they go. What are Buster and Scout planning? 
Oh, look. Diggly and CJ are sneaking up behind them. And splash. Uh-oh. Scout has been hit. And bullseye. Now things are getting interesting. Who is that hiding in the bushes? It's Scout. But she managed to hide just in time. It's CJ's second chance. But look, here comes Buster. He splashes CJ from behind. Quick, Buster! Oh no! CJ and Diggly have Buster and Scout cornered. What are they going to do? Aha! An umbrella! I think Buster's got a plan. CJ and Diggly take aim. But Buster is keeping dry with the umbrella. Great idea, Buster. Uh-oh. Diggly and CJ are filling up again. Whoa! Look at the size of that balloon! Looks like Buster is in trouble. Wow! Nice shot, Buster! <laughs> that was so much fun. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa! It's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew. It was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Oh. <laughs> Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. <laughs> now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it! Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Look, there's Scout, and there's Buster. I think they're playing tag. What's Buster seen? Oh, wow, a maze. Scout is going inside. Go on, Buster, try and find her. I wonder which way Scout went. There she is. Off they go, winding their way through the maze. Which way should Buster go now? This way. Oh look, a yellow flower. How nice. A few more turns and which way this time? This way. Wait a minute, it's that flower again. Buster's gone round in circles. Maybe if he backs up, he can find his way out. There's Scout, she looks lost too. Whoa, Buster and Scout have found each other. Thank goodness. But now they need to find the way out. Scout is balancing on Buster's roof. Maybe she can see a way out. There it is. Good job, Scout. They're speeding off towards the exit. But which way is it? Oh dear, they're still lost in the maze. Look, 
tire tracks. They can follow those all the way to the way out. Good thinking, Buster. There's that flower again. A little further and hooray! They made it out. Great teamwork, guys. Look, it's Rita the sports car. She's speeding into the maze. Oh well, I guess Buster and Scout will have to help her find her way out. Look, it's Buster the bus. But now he's a fish in the big blue sea. And look, there's a tiny baby shark. That crab is snapping his claws, just like the baby shark's jaws. Buster wants to play with them. And look there, that must be the mommy shark. She's dancing with the crab. She looks like she's having so much fun. What fun! Look, it's Sham the shark. He must be the daddy. Now Sham is dancing excitedly with the crab. Buster is happy to see his old friend. Who's this? Glasses? Wrinkles? This must be Grandma Shark. <laughs> She's having a great time dancing with the crab too. <laughs> Look at her go. And this happy shark with a mustache? That must be Grandpa Shark. <laughs> He's having such a good time. Now Buster has met the whole shark family. Now Sham and Buster are playing together in the ocean. They're swimming through the coral and then up towards the surface. Aw, but the poor little crab can't keep up. Look at Buster and Sham jump gracefully out of the water. But the little crab is having a tough time. Up Buster jumps. Whoa! Watch out, little crab! Aw, Buster wants to play together. Now all three of them can swim together. Oh dear, Buster looks all worn out. Sham and the crab are saying goodbye. They've had such a nice day. Oh, it was all a dream. Or was it? There's the little crab again. It's a sunny day in the park, and everyone is having a great time playing together. Look, Buster has a skipping rope. Ready, Buster? That's it, hop over the rope. Phew, that was tiring. What a great day, and now it's time to go home. But uh-oh, that's an awful lot of mess they've left behind. Buster doesn't want to clean up. But look, Scout and Diggly are stopping him. They can't leave all this behind without cleaning up. It won't take long to clean up. It could even be fun. Scout's grabbing the skipping rope to show how easy it is. All the toys need to go back into the toy box. <laughs> Bouncing the soccer ball between them, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Diggly's collecting up all the small toys. Passing the toy box between them, this is almost like a game. Next, the cone. Look, Scout's catching them on her bonnet. Now Buster's collapsing the goal. Nice work! Everything is back in the toy box. You're all done! That wasn't so hard. Oops, Buster nudged the toy box and now it's rolling off down the hill. Buster, Scout, and Diggly are all chasing after it as fast as they can. The toy box is tumbling off the road. Oh no, it's fallen over and all the toys have spilled out. After all that hard work. What's Scout up to? <laughs> She's right, they can have just as much fun cleaning it up all over again. Everything will be cleaned up again in no time. There! Well done, everyone! Hooray! It's time for the big race! Diggly, Scout, and Buster are going to race to see who wins the cup. Oh, Bandit is racing too! Ready, steady, go! And they're off! Buster's driving as fast as he can, and his wheels are going round and round. Bandit's in the lead, but Buster is passing him. Hooray! Buster's in the lead! Everyone is driving really fast. Look out! Scout is speeding ahead. Scout's taking the lead. Uh-oh, a low bridge. Little Scout can fit under, but everyone else will have to go around. 
Buster and Diggly have reached a river. How will they cross? Nice! Diggly made a bridge! It was a shortcut. Now they've caught up with Scout. There's Bandit. Oh no! That's an oil barrel spilling all over the road. Scout and Diggly are sliding on the oil. What a cheater! But Buster is still racing. He's catching Bandit. Bandit skidding. He ended up in that pond. Serves him right. There's the finish line. Buster speeding ahead. Hooray! Buster won! And as his prize, he can have a nice tasty ice cream. And of course, the winner's cup.